Welcome to our first 2018 NBA prospect breakdown. Last year we did a good amount of videos and they did very well. So we are bringing you this type of content once again so our audience can familiarize themselves with the best prospects and sleepers of the 2018 NBA draft class. Donovan Mitchell and Laurie Markkinen were two sleepers I was very high on last year and Troy Brown Jr. out of Oregon is one of my sleepers this season. So, if you are a fan of a team drafting 9 through 17, then you will want to pay attention to this kid because he has a chance to be a very good player at the NBA level. This video is presented by Power Hands. So get your handles right and grab yourself some gloves. Let's get to it. Let's go over his strengths on offense. His playmaking ability was the biggest thing that I enjoyed from his season at Oregon. At 6'7", a 6'11 wingspan, and a great motor, this kid will be a reliable option for any coach and a fan favorite right off the bat. He grew up playing point guard before his growth spurt, which is the major reason why he would be able to run a solid pick and roll or pick and pop at the NBA level with more space to work with. At Oregon, he finished with the rating of very good as a pick and roll ball handler, which means when someone gave him a pick, he would go downhill and get you a bucket. In 52 possessions, he scored 44 points. Now, when Coach Altman put him in pick and rolls, including passes, in 109 possessions, he created 100 points, which gives him a rating of very good. Some say it might be a small sample size, but I counter with saying not really because he is a wing being put in that situation to make reads at a very young age. That is a major plus for any team looking for versatile players. And trust me, every team would be able to use this kid. Let's look at a few plays where we see his exceptional playmaking ability. On this play, Coach Altman designed a post up for Brown. And when he feels a double team coming, he spins back into the paint and drops it off to his teammate for an easy layup. That's not an easy play to make, and this kid already has that ability. On this second play, he gets his pick and switch he wanted, so he takes the big man to the rim and makes the correct read to the corner since the defense took away his initial read to the top of the three-point line. That's high basketball IQ. I'll also say that it was really bad defense from the start, but still, good play from Brown. He is also a disciplined defender and knows where to be off the ball and doesn't get caught ball watching, which if you're a Kings fan, you understand how frustrating that is. His rating on defense was very good because in 271 overall possessions, he only allowed 204 points. He was excellent in isolation, which goes back to being disciplined and holding his own because of his strength and basketball IQ. He is not an amazing athlete, but a very good one. What do I mean by amazing? I think of Ben McLemore, Gerald Green, those type of guys. But with really good strength and high basketball IQ, he will always make up for it. His biggest weakness is his jump shot. But I'm not really worried about it because his mechanics are fine. It's a matter of confidence for him. And when you get to dedicate your entire life to the sport, then I expect his jumper to improve drastically. In my eyes, he will be a solid 3 and D guy with the ability to make plays off the dribble and possibly be a secondary ball handler in an offense. That's a luxury to have and something many of these bad lottery teams don't have. He reminds me a lot of Evan Turner, but has the potential to be a much better three-point shooter. And if that happens, boy, the team that drafts him will get a steal. Let me know if you agree or disagree. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow NBA fans. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms. I'll see you guys on the next video.